Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. So nowadays I have been receiving a lot of queries that sir, how we can prepare for signal system for placements. We are preparing for analog VLSI jobs, but we need to prepare signal system as well. And this thing I have always said that even if you are preparing only for analog jobs, but uh, along with network and analog, you need to have good knowledge of EDC. You need to have good knowledge of signal system, control system and somewhat you need to know transmission line and switch chart as well. So if you have knowledge of these many subjects, then it would be better for you. Not only network and analog, like you can crack the interview with the network and analog knowledge as well. But if you have the knowledge of all these subjects, then it would be better for you. So how can you prepare signal system for placements? Right. So that I'm going to tell. So for that, I have made this playlist on our channel only signal system for placements. OK, so you can go to YouTube and type signal system for placements. Manshu Agrawal that you can type or simply you can go to our playlist section. There you will get this particular playlist. So here there are 12 videos and these 12 videos are of 80 hours, but you cannot spend 80 hours on signal system, right? 80 hours you cannot spend on signal system. And uh, before that, like I will tell you a complete strategy that how you can cover this uh, particular playlist. But before that, the query would be, sir, where, where will I get the notes? So for the notes, what you can do, you can join our telegram group. What is the name of our telegram group? The name of our telegram group is Prep Fusion. This is the name. And in this telegram group, what you need to do, you need to go to files section, files section. In files section, you need to type two kind of PDFs are there. So you type slides, slides, signals, or you type printable signals. So if you want the printout, then you can download this PDF, download this PDF and get the printout. So this will be in bracket white. Okay, the background will be white, the text would be black. So you can get the printout. And if you want the slides, like let's just say you are studying from PC or from mobile or, from, or some tablet, iPad, whatever that you are studying from, if you want to annotate on the device itself, then you can download this slide. So notes problem is done. You don't need to make your own notes. Now, how will I cover this playlist? So there would be two kind of people. One would be those beta guys who never studied signal system. In their beta curriculum, they studied it for the semester level purpose. They don't have a good idea of signal system and there would be MTech students. Now, MTech students have good enough idea of signal system, right? Because they have appeared for gate examination. So they have more than decent idea. So these are the videos. This is the first chapter. This is the chapter of basics of signal. So here you can see that I will be talking about strap signal, ramp signal, parabolic signal, impulse signal, doublet function. All these things I will be talking about. Then what is the meaning of energy signal, power signal, even odd. So very, very basic things th these are. And uh, like I am teaching here, like I am teaching a class 11, 12 student. Like in that scratch I am teaching. So that's why it will not take you much of the time. It will not take you much of the time to cover these videos. And just at any point you feel like that I am going too much into the mathematics, you can drop that part. What I am saying? If you feel like that, sir, there are a lot of problem solvings, right? Because these videos are made for the purpose of gate examination. And in gate examination, a lot of problem solving would be there. So you need to build up the problem solving approach as well. There would be a lot of numericals. So just as you feel like that, sir, I'm going into too much of mathematics, then you can drop this part. I don't think anyone would be asking the problems from here. Okay, no one will be asking the questions from here in the interview. Neither it would be coming in the written test as well. Or it might happen that from in the written test, some questions can come from these portion. But these portions are necessary to understand the further part. Okay, the part that is coming ahead to understand that particular part, these videos are necessary. Is that okay for you what I am saying? Okay, so in a very quick manner, you can cover it. And whenever you feel like that, sir, there is too much of mathematics, you can drop that part. Like in convolution, I will be explaining the core concept of convolution, like how you would take one waveform and then invert the other waveform, take it to minus infinity, then sweep it and you calculate the whole area. Okay. So that part that I have explained, that was the intuition, right? But I will go into the mathematics as well, minus infinity to infinity, x of to, then a lot of signal I would be taking, then I will be calculating their <coughs> convolution. So it would take a lot of time there. But that particular thing is not necessary for the placements. Those numerical part is not necessary for the placements. So you are smart enough that which part you need to carry up and which part you, you can drop. Okay, so you are smart enough to see which part you need to understand. So in a very quick manner, you can watch it. And if you are someone from masters, then you have already studied all these parts, right? 
if you are from masters then no matter from where from wherever you have studied it but you already know all these parts like you know the meaning of orthogonal signal you know even odd so in a very very quick manner from the notes itself you can revise it just pick up the notes from the notes itself you can revise it and whenever you feel like that sir it is too mathematical you can drop that particular part okay like in the basics of english i will be uh, like uh, i will be doing these kind of uh, these kind of calculations like i will be asking you like what will be the result of this particular integration now it might happen that even the master students did not study this kind of uh, integration in their gate preparation but this is irrelevant for the placement purpose no right in the placements no one is going to ask you these kind of integrations neither it will be coming in the written test nor it will be asked in the interview because this is pure mathematics nothing but mathematics and they are not expecting mathematics from your side so whenever you feel like that these kind of concepts are coming you can drop it are you able to understand what i am saying okay so in that manner you need to utilize it then there is a chapter called basics of a system so this chapter also you can study in a very good manner there a portion would be lti system that lti system portion is important for you so on this particular portion you can hold on a bit and rest of the part you can study in a good, quick manner okay in a very very quick manner you can study the rest of the part from here onwards the important part would start four year series and from here onwards you can expect questions in your interview from the fourier series like they can ask you the basic meaning of fourier series as well not the formula like how the concept of fourier series build up that thing you can ask that, that thing they can ask so in the first lecture of fourier series and in the first lecture of fourier transform as well i will be giving you the exact meaning of fourier series and fourier transform not the mathematics we will be discussing how fourier series came into action how fourier transform came into action so that kind of intuition i will be giving so the very first lecture is very very important whether it is for fourier series or it is for fourier transform these lectures are very very important now again fourier series will also start getting mathematical in the further lecture fourier series will also start getting mathematical but whatever the property that i am teaching or whatever the things that i am teaching you should do it completely fourier series and fourier transform you should do it completely 9 plus 4 it would be of roughly around 15 hours and this you can see it would be roughly around 19 hours okay so you can spend 3 to 4 days and you will be able to do it notes and everything already available just watch the video on 1.5x 1.75x and whenever i am solving the problem that part you can skip or if you feel like solving a particular if you feel like solving a particular question then you can solve that particular question as well so in a quicker manner you would be able to do it is that okay for you okay so from here onwards the important part would start from fourier series and fourier transform these two are the important part and this is the most important part this video is the most important part which is the last video but to understand this video you need to cover the previous part as well now if you feel like that sir i am confident enough in fourier transform and fourier series i don't feel like revising signal system again but at least do this part at least was this video very very important video like if you pass a particular signal through a lti system how will the output look like if i pass a square wave through a low pass filter how would the output look like depending on the cut off frequency of the low pass filter right or band pass filter different kind of filters could be there they can ask you to de to design that filter once you design that filter they will ask you this kind of input is applied what kind of output you would be getting the sinusoid signal like uh, the square wave signal is having some sinusoids of f0 3f0 frequency why it is having those frequencies right it can have some dc component as well so what will reflect in the output all these kind of questions can be asked as, and same goes for sampling as well sampling is a very very important process from the sampling process as well a lot of questions can be asked what you might have studied is that sampling we do only with the impulse train but no impulse train is one of the way of sampling there could be other ways as well you can do sampling with any kind of periodic wave and if you shift the impulse wave oh, sorry if you shift the impulse train then what will happen in the sampling output right so all these things are there so this video is very very important even if you feel like that sir i am completely comfortable with signal system i don't feel like revising signal system at all but still you should watch at least this video and this video as well okay basics of fourier transform because i know that you you aren't comfortable you are not comfortable with the core concept of fourier transform you know the formula x of omega x of t these formula you know but i am pretty sure you are not comfortable with the core concept of fourier transform how the fourier transform came into action like if i do something in time domain how it will reflect in the frequency domain why impulse signal have all the frequency component 
having the same amplitude, right? Why sync is having rectangular waveform? Why rectangular in the time domain have the sync waveform in the frequency domain? So all these things have been discussed. In a great, great manner, all these things are discussed. Okay. So these matters I uploaded two days back only so that you guys get comfortable with everything. So I wanted to upload everything on YouTube only. So all this will be remaining on YouTube itself. But you guys need to watch it. In a very quick manner, just give four to five days to signal system because it might be asked in your interview. And uh, nowadays, even companies are focusing on signal system as well because it is necessary. Like right? if you are working, like if you are working in a DAC team or ADC team, if you are designing convert data converters, then knowledge of signal system is required everywhere. If you go to the course of Shanti Pawan sir, like there would there is a course of data converters by Shanti Pawan sir. So there also you would see that just as you watch the first or second video, you would realize that you cannot proceed further without the knowledge of signal system. So if you cover this much part, then you would be able to cover that particular course as well. Which course I am talking about? Shanti Pawan sir's course. Okay. On data converters. And that course is very, very important with respect to industry. From the industry point of view, that course is very, very important. Right. So that's why I thought that I should bring something for signal system and that is already available. Something for RF is also available on our channel only. Okay. You can go to our um, playlist section and there I have put uh, basics of RF. So something related to RF is also available, but here basics of EMFT is required. So what you can do is that you can cover EMFT for gate from my side, EMFT for gate you can cover and that is completely available on YouTube only. I'm not asking for any money. EMFT for gate is com completely available on YouTube only and basics of RF will be covered in this part as well. And if you have, if you already have the idea of EMFT for gate, then you can cover this playlist only. Okay, so this was for our RF, but this video was mainly for signal system that how you can cover signal system for your placement purpose. Okay, so don't ignore signal system, just study it once. Yeah, if you are having any other query, you can write it down. Yeah. Thank you very much. Happy life.